Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss another model of the problem. That is, the problem is the root locus is given below. So this is the root locus. The open loop transfer function corresponding to poles is and is asking to find out the open loop transfer function. So what is open loop transfer function? G of S into H of S value. Okay, right. So generally, how the open loop transfer function structure? So open loop transfer function structure is like this: G of S and H of S, some DC pole gain. After that, S plus A, S plus B. These are the zeros, and below we have S plus C, S plus D, and so on, like this model. So we have to write this. We have to write in this format first. So look at the problem. Generally, this DC gain is common for any open loop transfer function, that is K. And second, so how many zeros and how many poles first? So look at here. If you observe, maybe this is the zero actually. If you observe, this is the pole and this is zero. Between zero and one, we have one root locus. So that's why I will take first. We have pole at the pole at origin. So this is the origin. That's why it is the pole at origin. And it will reach to the minus one. Thus, that means we have one zero. One zero at 1 0 at s equal to minus 1 1 pole at s equal to 0 so I will write s equal to 1 and I will write s plus 1 then then 0 become s equal to minus 1 and next look at here minus 2 minus 3 are the two poles maybe this is the direction after that this will be flow in this direction that means these minus 3 minus 2 have the root locus and both are touch one is go in this way to the this is also go in this way that means we have uh, pole at s equal to minus 2 and again pole at s equal to minus 3 so I will write s equal to minus 2 means s plus 2 s equal to minus 3 means s plus 3 this is over and look at here what about here minus 3 has the another path here this time is another path another root locus is available here so that means again we have s plus 3 is the path we have s plus 3 is the path okay so that's why s plus 3 has in this direction or in this direction we have one root locus path and again here s equal minus 3 has the another direction root locus so from this we can write the open loop transfer function is like this k into s plus 1 by s into s plus 2 into s plus 3 whole square s plus 3 this is the open loop transfer function open loop transfer function that is k into s plus 1 by s into s plus 2 s plus 3 whole square so whenever whenever you have to convert into root locus to open loop transfer function generally is given gs of h of s and is asking to find out this sometimes he will give you like this and he will ask to find out the open loop transfer function that type you have to follow the procedure that is first you write format of the open loop transfer function this is the format of the open loop transfer function then you will recognize each and every first you recognize the root locus then you will draw the pole and zero second you will take the root locus and you will draw the pole and zero then you will get the open loop transfer function value is k into s plus 1 by s into s plus 2 s plus 3 whole square okay so go for the next problem here next problem next problem is look at here the unity feedback system is given by h of s g of s equal k into s into s plus 1 s plus 2 the root locus of the system is is asking to find out the root locus and find the value of the k find the value of the k okay 
So normally he is asking to find the value of the k and sometimes he will ask the root locus plot also. So here just for the solution the open loop transfer function equal to will write g of s into h of s equal to k by s into s plus 1 s plus 2 yes and s plus 1 into s plus 2 so in order to draw this first we need to look at the asymptotes generally uh, generally we have poles how many poles we have poles is 3 that is s equal to 0 is one pole and minus 1 is the one pole minus 2 is the another pole what about zeros there is no zeros so that's why we have 3 1 infinite 2 infinite 3 infinite we have the three zeros okay so and we should write asymptotes in order to get the zeros we should write the asymptotes what are the asymptotes direction whenever we have three zeros the automatically three asymptotes those asymptote angles equal to theta 1 equal to 60 theta 2 equal to 180 and theta 3 equal to the 300 so this is the asymptote angle by using this we will find out the rl plot so i will and we can take yeah no problem at all so we will go for approximate draw also so this is the root locus diagram so in this so in this first pole s equal to 0 we have the pole is s equal to 0 and next pole s equal to minus 1 so we have the pole s equal to minus 1 and next pole we have the s equal to minus 2 s equal to minus 2 these are the poles we have these are the poles we have and we have asymptotes we have the asymptotes and we should find out the asymptotic uh, centroid also then it will be very easy so centroid summation of poles minus summation of zeros by number of poles minus zeros okay uh, poles is 0 the minus 1 and the minus 2 zeros are 0 by poles minus zeros is 3 and we will get centroid is minus 3 by 3 minus 3 by 3 generally the centroid is minus 3 by 3 means so simply we have centroid is minus 1 so minus 1 is the centroid point so that's why I will consider like this from this minus 1 we have three angles the first angle is the 60 degrees and second angle is the 180 degrees and third angle is the 300 degrees so these are the 300 degrees and by using this so that means what is that meaning we have 3 0 and minus 1 and minus 2 okay so between there is no root locus actually so we'll change the color yes so just is there any root locus left hand side only one there is no root locus but we have the root locus between these points we have the root locus and just observe here these are following the asymptotes always so we have two and the poles means it will give this direction poles means always give direction and it will follow it will follow like this so this will follow like this and that means the poles will flow in this direction the poles flow is the like this okay why we are choosing this because we have one pole and between these two points there is no but we have an asymptote at this point we have at this point we have two is there at this point we have the root locus if you sit here observe here we have two poles okay so that's why there is no path here 
but the remaining path is like this so this path means it has the root locus generally it has the root locus generally this root locus will flow like this so in this direction and it will reach the infinite first s equals 0 may be in this root direction or in this direction it will reach the infinite second s equal minus 1 assumes it will reach in this direction s equal minus also 1 will reach in this direction here also s equal minus 2 will reach in this direction okay and what is the question so root locus is completed the first question is completed what about second question find the value of the k so when we are getting the k here initially we will simply say that just observe here just observe the transfer function we have s s is there S is, G, S is there means pole at origin is there, pole at S equal 0 is there. Then what is the system? System is generally a marginally stable system. Marginally stable system. So by using that concept, we will simply find out the, okay, we, so by using the concept, we can find the, we can find K value. We can find k at imaginary axis k at imaginary axis so we use the characteristic equation what is that equation 1 plus g of s h of s will be equal to 0 so here what is g of s of s so by using that we will write k by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 will be equal to 0 by solving this we will get s into s square plus 3s plus 2 plus k equal to 0 and we will get s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus k equal to 0 so this is the third order system that's why we will write inside multiplication equal outside multiplication both are same that means 1 into k is equals to 3 into 2 so therefore the k value equal to the 6 k value equal to the 6 okay so whenever he given you know the how to find the open loop transfer function and we will find this value also how we will find this value by doing the dk by ds that should must and should be between 0 and minus 1 okay and whenever a pole at s equal 0 system must and should be marginal system that's why by using this we will get the s value okay so these are the another important models of the root locus okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you